Hi, welcome to Accordion Cafe and today the Kirby Cleaner, uh, the second part of it. Um, we're going to reassemble this. Um, I need the space and um, this, uh, this machine actually is my uh, workshop cleaner. So we're just going to reassemble it now, a quick video on this. So here we go. Uh, tools you're going to need are a Phillips screwdriver, a couple of Torx drivers, your small screwdriver, uh, this is the silicon sealant which will be uh, smearing some around this edge here all the way around there as I'm pointing out because uh, if you don't um, put fresh sealant on there your machine won't um, operate to its uh, proper standard it'll leak you'll get a uh, much reduced suction on it so we'll be replacing that sealant on there and uh, scraping this off you'll need a um, something sharp I'm going to use this scrape it around like that get it all off well I think the first job we'll do is we'll just clean off this old ceiling off here and this metal is uh, quite soft so if you start going mad at it you will take pieces out it's not steel, it's aluminium. So and I think you've got the idea, so we'll probably edit the rest of this cleaning out now. Okay, we're moving along and we need to get this out. There we are. And that's just uh that's just stuck in there with a bit of sealant. You can see all the mock here. Everything's live on this show. <laughs> we need to get rid of all this. Now we can get into the bits here. Make sure it's away from the edge because it, if you don't take that shoe out, um, this part here, if you don't take it out and you try and clean around it, you won't get it all out and you won't get a proper seal so you've got to lift which is out when you put it back in just put a blob of your sealant on the back there just there and push it into place you know around your bits of sealant here and then when you, you can put your sealant on there and then you'll, you'll, be, you'll be sure you've got a proper uh, seal then so there's most of it got off anyway this is the this is my workshop machine actually um, so I could clean it off even more than that, but you must uh, make sure you get every bit of it off. And especially all around here, you've got to get it all off. Also, while we're at it, <coughs> on the moulding here, you'll see a little circular stamp. Now this one, in fact, says 96. So this was manufactured in uh, 1996. And you can see around the um, body on this that um, this will have to be scraped clean as well. I'll give it a give it a scrape, try and keep it nice and flat. Don't round it off. Mm. Yeah. So here we have our shoe back in there. Cleaned up the faces on that side just a bit because I am going to be um, as I say stripping down again. Um, there's the silicon sealant which I haven't put on because I'm going to strip it down again. Um, there we are. So now we'll just start reassembling this. So the first thing we're going to do is to just tighten up our pulley fan. Uh, remember it's a left hand thread so we're going to be turning it that way as if, well it's a left hand thread so in actual fact turning it this way is tightening it up isn't it. I can feel the fan going down. screws back in the top and uh, let's hope it's kept the screws in the jar which was suggested in the first video now your, your screw which has got the chamfered edge on goes in that one there you've got these screws are different sizes these are the ones which came out the front cover and you've got 
two longer ones and two shorter ones. The longer ones go in the top there. Shuffle that around a bit. And then drop it a little bit. And the two, which are the two shorter ones, go in there and there. And then you can, yeah, so Torx, Torx 20. I do have a Torx um, electric driver actually. But what I like to do is just to get them started in, in first, just in case um, if they happen to go in cross dead, even the slightest bit, um, and the torque driver's belting them in, then you're going to have a problem. It will damage the thread because it's steel into aluminium. There we are, there's those screws. I'll just tighten them down. So that's our screws tight. So the next part we're going to refit really is the drive unit. So here's a drive unit here and so might as well just give it a brush out first even though I will be removing this again or maybe I won't do but there again I might do <laughs> give it a brush out that in neutral and we'll just bring that up inside here just drop that off again put that over the receiving piece and we can just bring this unit up here get that lever up out the way. That lever uh, needs to be up. Lever up here. That's good. We have belt over. Right, that's the belt on both cogs. The levers up. Drop them in. Make sure that part, that fork, goes over that receiving part there. And that is in place with the belt on. And then we can now turn it over and put our three screws back in the bottom. Then there's three, one, two, three torque screws there, and the Phillips, which we don't touch in the middle. So this lever here there's your foot press it switch that goes onto there like so, and then this simply push it down over there, down there, and there we have your on and off switch. Okay, so the next part we're going to assemble, we'll just put the uh, casing on the uh, machine. Just give that a little brush out here. Of course you can polish this aluminium if you want to, you can really buff it up to a mirror finish, and uh, I will do, one day. And uh, so we'll just get this back on here, drop them through there, drop them on there, put them in place like that. That's it. Bring them around here. That's what we're doing in the front. And you can see where this case has just gone on here. I'll just lift it up again for you. You see? You've got two holes, two screw holes there. That's dropping over our screws there. That drops on there. And on this you've got um, two screws there, which are countersunk screws. And you've got two screws there, which are not countersunk. So, we'll just put our two countersunk screws in here. The next part we do is put our two screws back in here. Uh, 
and now we take two slightly shorter screws here and on this machine these are uh, cross heads these are Phillips screws in this part of the machine there's a mixture of screws used on this particular Kirby um, I seem to change the minds about which one's which now the next thing we're going to do is to put the mains lead back plate and the switch cover on so there's the handle over there bring the mains lead around and there's the plug for the machine that goes on to there and this goes over the top of that so what you need to do is put that over there and just hook it in under the top side and put this in position underneath like that and then clip that in now the screw which goes on the back here is this wider one with a bit of a washer on there I'll lift this up so you can see this one goes in here which is a Phillips head screw and in the top here into this hole here goes our Phillips head screw which is a sort of a medium length after this there should only be one screw left over after this one that's going through the cover through the lead clamp and then into the body there that's a Phillips there and the one we've got left over now is the plug securing cover right here we go so here's our plug which goes in it's shaped it can only go in one way it goes into there and then we have to secure our plug cover And to get that lip underneath the casing of the machine lock. So and the one on the bottom as well. So you've got a clip there to fit in, let's get this the right way up, so you've got a lip underneath there to fit in and also at the bottom there's a lip goes in the bottom as well and when you've got those two in you can then put our final screw in into here, oops come back which is a torque, <laughs> a torque screw this machine's got t tickles. There's our Torx 20 here. Just not as firmly in. And the next thing we'll do now is snap our handle back into place. There we are, let's clip that into place there almost finished now to put your bag back on you can see it's about that angle drop it on there try not to knock the tripod and then just simply push this over but don't squash the lead so we push the lead down and out of the way of the shoe on the bag So the lead is not squashed in there, pinched. Then we can reconnect the bag into the clip up the top. And we can reconnect our roller front here, the roller brush assembly. That's just hooks on.
the roller, put the hood down, and there we are. And that was where how to replace your belt, your brush roller, your fan, the lead, remove the bag, and also we went as far as removing the uh, drive unit on it. That's all for now. I hope that was some use to you. Bye for now.